The aggregation is a special form of an association. It is used to express that a class is part of another class. The aggregation association can have two different properties. Transitive means if B is part of A and C is part of B, C is also part of A. Asymmetric means that it is not possible for A to be part of B and B to be part of A simultaneously. There are two types of aggregation, the shared aggregation and the composition. A shared aggregation expresses a weak belonging to the parts of a whole. That means that parts also exist independently from the whole. The multiplicity at the aggregating end may be bigger than one. This concept spans a directed acyclic graph and the hollow diagram at the aggregated end has to be modeled. For example, student is part of lab class and a course is part of study program. The other type of aggregation is the composition. It shows that there exists a dependency between the composite object and its parts. One part can, be, can only be contained in at most one composite object at one specific point in time. The multiplicity at the aggregating end is maximal one. The composition objects form a tree. If the composite object is deleted, its parts are also deleted. A composition is shown by a solid diamond at the aggregated end. For example, BIMA is part of lecture hall, which is part of building. If the building is deleted, the lecture hall is also deleted. The BIMA can exist without the lecture hall, but if it is contained in the lecture hall while it is being deleted, the BIMA is also deleted. Let's look at an example of shared aggregation and composition. Is the first example modeled in the right way? Does a tire exist without a car? Does the tire belong to only one car at most? This model is true. A tire can exist without a car. A tire belongs to one car at most. The second example does not apply. In this case, the tire needs a car Otherwise, it does not exist. What about the third example? A tire can belong to multiple cars, but it is usually not the case in practice. Do you think the last model is true? Yes, it is true. In the last example, a car has one or two types of tires. Several cars may have the same type of tires.